Get three cultures and five experts in different fields and get them to discuss borders. The result is plenty of food for thought, with a depth of knowledge imparted. Looking at the world today from different perspectives, the sages of the Med certainly overcame the border between materialism and a greater understanding of ourselves so as to be equipped for progress. Whether it's through nuclear disarmament, science, relaxation or introspection, the idea is to make the world a better place. It's um, the perception of the world um, that there are some good ones and some bad ones. That are the major borders. There are no good ones or bad ones. All people doing things because they are in a certain system and if you overcome this kind of thing, understanding others and trying of course to have a position and trying to create a communication, we need that to overcome the inner borders and that overcomes the outer borders. I think that basically the borders are internal. Uh, we uh, try to make sense of the wor world by putting things in boxes and the way we put our ideas, our emotions, our feelings into boxes creates a, a, an opportunity to understand but it also closes down possibilities and that is also reflected externally. When we look at the global situation, we look at North Korea or Russia, we put them in boxes. Is Kim Jong-un mad? That's the question I'm so frequently asked on television. Is it Kim Jong-un or is it uh, Donald Trump that's mad? And the truth of it is it's all much more complex and fluid than that. They're, in, they're locked into games and those games are themselves boxes that create the challenge and the problem and the very significant existential danger we all sit in today. There are uh, two main borders I see. One is geopolitical, that the uh, international system is transitioning from a a unipolar system with U US and Germany to a multipolar system or some say an apolar system and the second uh, issue is technology and the way technology uh, is empowering some actors and uh, removing accountability for, from others. Technological advances and the effects on mankind today were discussed together with global interests and the Cambridge Analytica idea of how we're manipulated on a daily basis as well as the effects on concentration span and behavioural patterns. But, as the speaker said, solutions add to the problem. It was an interesting journey of exploration with the secret of success in questioning, communicating and listening. The timing of the event may perhaps have to be revisited next year. It was a shame to see such well-versed speakers addressing such an empty INSIS hall.